Central Place Theory The Central Place Theory was developed by a German geographer named Walter Christaller in 1933. He developed the Central Place Theory by studying settlements in southern Germany to understand how urban settlements are developed and spaced out in relation to each other. The Central Place Theory is explained using connected hexagons. The Central Place Theory does not use circles or squares because circles have an equal distance from center to edge, but they overlap or leave gaps. Squares connect together without gaps, but their sides are not equal from the center. Geographers use hexagons to depict the market area of a good or service because hexagons offer a compromise between geometric properties of circles and squares. The central place theory is based off the concepts of range, threshold, and hinterland. Range is the maximum distance people are willing to travel to use a service. Threshold is the minimum number of people needed to support a service. Hinterland is the area surrounding the city that interacts with the market in regards to service. Due to range of central goods and service varies, tertiary centers are arranged in an orderly hierarchy. Metropolises offer all services associated with central places and have large hinterlands. Medium-sized settlements have the same goods and services as villages and hamlets offer, but only some of those that cities offer. At the bottom are small market villages and roadside hamlets that may contain nothing more than a post office, service station, or cafe. Each high-ranked central place offers all goods and services of the next lower-ranked place, plus at least one or two more. Crucial to his theory, different goods and services vary both in threshold and range. Assumptions For example, larger number of people require to support a hospital university, or department store is greater than a gasoline station, post office, or grocery store. Also, people are willing to travel further to consult a heart specialist in regards to land title or purchase a car than to buy a loaf of bread or mail letter. All central places are part of a system counterpart spread in equal area, evenly distributed population and resources, countryside areas he studied will be flat so no barriers would exist to interfere with people's movements across it, Humans will always purchase goods closest to the place that offers it. Whenever demand for a certain good is high, it will be offered in close proximity to the population. Whenever demand drops, so does availability. Consumers have the same income level and shopping behavior as similar purchasing power and demand for goods and services. In conclusion, the central place theory was used to describe the size and distribution of settlements.